Hi, everybody. So um, in the previous video, I talked about the situation of allocative efficiency. I talked about how when the MPC and the MSC align, when the MPB and the MSB align, the point where they all intersect, the market equilibrium quantity QM will be equal to the socially optimum quantity Q opt. But what if there's a negative externality of production? What if the production process imposes an external cost on the rest of society? In that case, what's gonna happen is that the marginal social cost will be higher than the marginal private cost. So now you have two different intersections. Remember, the intersection of the MPB and the MPC, this one over here, will give us QM, the quantity produced by the market, and PM, the price charged by the market. However, the intersection of MSC and MSB will give us the socially optimum quantity Q opt and the socially optimum price P opt. So because MSC is greater than MPC, this vertical distance between MSC and the MPC is the external cost of this production process. This results in a situation where QM is greater than Q opt. You can see here QM is greater than Q opt. There is an over allocation of resources, over allocation of resources, and it's taking the form of over production. There is more of this product being produced than there should be. There is more being produced of this product than there should be from society's um, point of view, from the optimal allocation of resources from society's point of view. The horizontal distance between QM and QOPT is the amount of um, over production. And the vertical distance between MSC and MPC is the external cost. Now, this external cost could be a situation of pollution. That includes all types of pollution. Water pollution, land pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, light pollution. Or the external cost, cost, external cost could be an unsustainable overuse. I can't spell today for some reason, overuse of a common pool resource. Remember, common pool resources are non-excludable, but they are rivalrous. So any natural resource that is non-excludable but rivalrous, that means it's difficult to exclude people from using or benefiting from the resource, uh, but it's rivalrous. One person's use of the resource leaves less for everybody else. Think of the world's forests, the world's oceans, okay? When you have a common pool resource, all right, the unsustainable overuse of that common pool resource is an external cost, and you can use a negative externality of production diagram to show how the product that is produced from that resource, so say, for example, paper, the overproduction of paper is leading to an unsustainable um, overuse of the world's forests. It's leading to deforestation. Deforestation is the tragedy of the commons here. The unsustainable production of tuna, uh, sorry, the overproduction of tuna fish is leading to the unsustainable fishing of tuna. There is overfishing. That's the tragedy of the commons associated with this common pool resource, which is the fish stock in the ocean. Okay, so once again, when you have a negative externality of production, the MSC will be higher than the MPC. 
because there's an external cost imposed on society. That external cost could be pollution or an unsustainable overuse of a natural resource um, uh, or a common pool resource. That leads to a situation where the quantity produced by the market, QM, is greater than the quantity that society, from society's point of view, is the optimal quantity that should be produced. There's a problem of overproduction. Okay, so this is um, here I reviewed common pool resources, negative externalities of production um, and how they lead to a situation of over allocation of resources in the form of overproduction. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you're finding these videos useful. Please consider becoming a member of the channel if you want to get ac gain access to more exclusive content. And yeah, leave a comment, press the like button. Let me know what you think. Have a good one. Bye.